everyone loves spring season even bugs and insects too welcome to our channel yes today's video is all about know your bugs insects are one of the largest species in the earth there are over million insects are there so far and they are still inventing more of that only 2% is harmful to humans you will see both beneficial insects and the insects that damages your garden many of those bugs are beneficial and helps to control the damaging insects in your garden like bees praying mantis dragonflies even wasps so it's really important to know which one are good insects in your garden at the same time there are insects like snails slugs caterpillars grubs and many others are not good for your garden I strongly recommend every gardener should own a insect book to know which are the beneficial and harmful insects in your garden. For example, when you see a yellow jelly bean shape eggs under the leaves, you should leave that in the garden because those are ladybug eggs. Most people know the adult form of ladybug, but many do not know that its larva form is a black and orange alligator shaped creature. So don't kill those since it looks in a, in a different shape in today's video you will see some of these bugs in my garden and how to treat the cabbage worms and what are the natural predators and some garden tips to you let me show you what we observed in our garden as you work in the garden look for any signs that shows the stress of the plants for example discoloration or holes in the leaves things like that what you see in this video this is exactly you need to uh, capture <clears throat> at the early stage of the infection or disease when you walk look around feel the plant touch them and get closer and see something like this so you can prevent these diseases at the very early stage we also saw a cucumber beetle sitting in this plant and we believe that's the one causing this problem in the cucumber beetle there are two types one is the spotted one another one is the stripes one both will almost cause a similar problem to your plants next one is aphid this is one of the most common pest in the garden aphids do little damage in small numbers but their population can build rapidly to damage numbers and it can uh, kill your plants look at this the population is like humongous you you can't you can't fix this if you let it grow in a large scale next is snails and slugs these uh, these insects can damage the plants that are closer to the ground like strawberries um, cucumbers artichokes and there are several other insects like spider mites leaf hoppers japanese beetle scales squash bugs and there are several other bugs so keep an eye on your garden closely to see what kind of damages creates um, these insects to your plants like this you have to you have to get closer to the plants and feel it look at this these are like leaf miners these creates a, a major major problem to your garden it, these are like invisible insects that lies under the surface of your leaves and it creates massive damage to your plants these are cabbage worms mostly you will see these insects in the in the in the plants like cabbage cauliflower broccoli in in those uh, vegetables we can do separate video for each of these bugs but today we are going to look a detail view of um, cabbage worms look at the damage that has created to our um a radish plant we have harvested most of the icicle radish last month and we left some for seeds and the damage it has created is is big so when you see this white butterfly that's the indication that you're going to have serious problem with cabbage worms these butterflies start laying eggs on the on the leaves and um, they lay hundreds of eggs so you have to clearly see whenever you see this white butterfly with two spots that's not good for your garden and you cannot have you cannot enjoy the the, the view of the butterfly in your garden that's going to be really hurting you after some time 
So take a closer look at the leaves. These are the white, these are the eggs, what you see there. And um, very tiny, you can hand pick and you can uh, take, take away those eggs when you take a closer look. And uh, as the day goes, if you leave, um, these egg, the white eggs turns to be in, in this color and it's ready to hatch uh, for the larva. So, and um, most of the larva stays uh, underneath the leaves, what, I have, what we have noticed so far. So these are uh, really tiny, green in color, so it's really difficult to spot unless and until you spend few times in your garden and uh, looking at the leaves closely and the damage is like this, what you see, the holes, and look at, look at, look at the number of worms the cabbage worms it's massive and uh, the damage it creates if you're not taking care at the earlier stage it's it's big so uh, let's see what are the two different ways how we can get rid of these cabbage worms one is the most organic way the second one there are um, natural predators that can take care of them and i have a very interesting video which i captured i'm going to share that also you can hand pick them uh, and put in a soap water if you are not scared of them. So we have the neem cake and the mixing ratio is for every one liter you have to take 50 grams of neem cake. Mix it in the water and keep aside for 30 minutes until it's fully ready for you to uh, mix it well with your hand. This is one among the several organic treatment that we do in our garden. So mix it well until you crush all the uh, neem cake chunks in the water and repeat the process few times until you feel there is no major big chunks in the water and there is no chemical it's um, fully organic and it and it doesn't uh, change anything in the plants like the taste or the vegetable doesn't taste bitterness or it doesn't give any smell in our experience it keeps the bugs and insects away from your plants for at least few days because of the neem smell and the bitter taste um, on on the leaves. So um, it's it's a good organic way of treating um, the uh, the cabbage worms especially and even any other bugs in that in that manner. Applying this neem water at least bi-weekly or once in a week will definitely keeps your bugs away from your plants for sure. Filter it well and pour the neem water into the container and uh, you're ready to start spraying in your garden. And when you apply this water uh, to your plants, uh, make it that you are, uh, you are applying it thoroughly on the leaves on either sides and uh, make sure all the areas of the plants and leaves are like getting wetted with this water. As I mentioned earlier, there are several natural predators that will help your garden in taking care of these bugs. And uh, dragonfly. Dragonfly is one of the great asset in your garden and it can take care of um, bugs like apid, scales, and many other bugs. And the next predator is native paper wasp. There are several different type of wasps. Not everything is harmful to human until you disturb them. This particular wasp is called uh, native paper wasp. It normally has a brown color in the body with uh, yellow bands. Um, that's what we have noticed so far. There could be different colors, I'm not really sure, but this is what the one really comes to my garden and it, um, and it acts as a good predator, especially for the caterpillars. So what you're seeing now is the native paper wasp has already killed one of the caterpillar in the garden and it is trying to uh, make the food uh, take the food back to the nest to feed the developing larva and and look at the process it is it has made it like in a, in a 
ball shape in a round shape so it is easy for him to carry back to the nest it's so amazing to see this now let's look at some of the garden tips for today if you couldn't find any natural predators in your garden you can buy them from the stores yes you can buy ladybugs and lace wings um, from the stores or from the online they are good at taking care of many insects in the garden and the next is the uh, garden sticky pads these are uh, these are non chemical and uh, the color the yellow color really attracts the insects and it comes and gets into the sticky pad i hope today's video helped you uh, in taking care of your bugs and uh, thanks for watching keep supporting us thanks